Hello lovelies. Today I'm going to be doing a tablescape inspired by this sweet tea tray. Stick around and see what I do. Okay, I'm going to start by putting this sweet tea tray. I got this from Target for $5 about a year and a half ago. And I love it because it says Sweet Tea Brewing Company. And it's all wood natural. So we're going to start with that. So now I'm just going to add some things inside this tray. I love these little glass green apples from the Dollar Tree. I only found two of them. I'm hoping I can find more. And a little candle stand and candle also from the Dollar Tree. The vase, you can use any vase, jar, whatever you have. I got that again from the Dollar Tree and my greenery came from Walmart. The lemon came from Target. It's a glass lemon. And I got some limes I was so happy to find again at the Dollar Tree. And then I wanted to use this towel and this kitchen towel came from Target in a pack of two. And I absolutely love the lemons and I love how it looks. Very pretty, very fresh. And you can tell I'm always playing with my decor. I'm always looking where I want to put things. I always leave them. And when my eyes are smiling and I'm happy with it, my heart is singing, that's where it will stay. So that can, that is just a regular tomato can that I recycled and I painted and I put some uh, paper around it. And I added one of those little hearts grapevine hearts from dollar tree on there and some greenery from walmart always so simple i'm always trying to decorate with a budget but i want things to look cute and pretty and that's just how i do things sometimes i upcycle now those place place settings or place mats came from hobby lobby the spring collection and then I got these chargers also from Hobby Lobby. They're $1.99. I was really happy with finding these. And I love the way the edges are uh, cut out. And they kind of remind me of a doily, right? I really like these. I thought they were very pretty. So I was really excited to find these at Hobby Lobby, especially for the price, $1.99. I thought, hmm, that's a good deal. Always look for those deals. Now I have these plates. I've had these now. This is going to be my third season using these. And I don't know, it never gets old to me. Uh, I love the lemons. I guess it's because I have a citrus trees in my back and lemons and oranges the citrus fruit always has a nice place in my heart because i love it so since this was a fruit of the month i chose to do lemon plates with green apples little accents and i thought hmm i have orange trees i thought why don't i do a citrus theme Now these napkins came from Kirkland's. I love that they matched my tablecloth so nicely. And the tablecloth was from Walmart that I bought, oh, I believe about a year ago. So I'm just gonna add that napkin right underneath the small salad plate. And then I put the bowl right on top. The stemware came from Dollar Tree. 
I love these glasses with the lemons on it. Matches those plates so perfectly. What a beautiful set that Dollar Tree. They outdid themselves when they did these plates and the glassware. And then I used those straws from the 99 cent store. And I decided to use my water glasses. And I love these glasses. They are one of my favorites from the Dollar Tree to use. I think they're very versatile. They have like a diamond cut. So you can use them for a glam look. You probably can use them for country. I've used them for many different looks and I absolutely love them. So I think those are my favorites that I have right now. And I decided to put the straw, of course, in those glasses. I did add a lemon and some oranges in that centerpiece because I do like to add a real element in my centerpiece. I put those little limes on the side of the bowls on the plates and now I'm lighting my candles. I love having candles in my centerpieces. They give you that elegant feel and it livens it up where it's just so like, it's kind of like a romantic, elegant evening. I don't know. I light my candles at dinner time and my family absolutely love it. It's kind of an everyday relaxing, let's have dinner, let's all talk about our day. To me, that is what dinner time is, is to sit with your family, talk about your day, the candles warm it up and make it so lovely and inviting. Well, here is my first tablescape. Today's video is part of the Decor Lovers Open Collab Fruit of the Month, hosted by Tamara Love My Babies Forever. Let me introduce you to the Decor Lovers. We have Tamara Love My Babies Forever. We have Miss Stephanie, Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie. And she has a second channel, YouTube Tips by Stephanie. We also have Nadia, Coffee with Nadia, and DIY with Nadia. We have lovely Shushana from All Things Shushana and her second channel, The Decorating Mama. Also joining us is the lovely, talented Tammy, Glam Queen of DIY and her second channel, Glam Queen of Decor. There is myself, Leany, Leany's World, and I also have Crafty Leany. We will be hosting every month a new collab 
that is open to you. I hope you join the decor lovers. Okay, for my second tablescape, I'm going to add this wreath that I got at the 99 cents only store. I'm also going to add a three tier glass tray, also from the 99 cent store, which I was very excited to find for $3. It is very sturdy and heavy. I absolutely love this three tier tray. And I'm just gonna put it right in the center of my table on top of that wreath. I'm adding some fresh lemons right on the top of that first tier. And those came from my backyard. Yep, from my backyard. I love my lemon trees. I also have orange orchards in my backyard. If you stay tuned at the end of this video, I will share with you my beautiful orange orchards so you can see my lemon trees and my orange orchards. I added artificial limes right in the center tier and fresh oranges on the third. Now I'm adding some greenery that I've had left over from different projects. Sometimes I gather, if I have a bouquet, I'll gather some leaves or flowers from it, or I'll go to the supermarket and buy just a bunch of, like a bundle of baby's breath and put some fresh baby's breath inside there. I think this is more of a brunch look or a luncheon a breakfast uh, table setting and people can use your guests can actually take an orange or if you put strawberries you could put strawberries in the center of your tear tray or fresh fruits and they can grab the fruits right off the centerpiece and that is it oh my goodness I am so so in love with this tablescape so fresh it's ready for breakfast in the morning a summer look which look is your favorite the first centerpiece in the first table setting or the second setting let me know in the comments Well, I'm going to let you enjoy this, the finishing of this tablescape. Stay tuned for the Orange Orchards at Rabbit's Hollow. Welcome to Rabbit's Hollow. Handsome Devil and I named it Rabbit's Hollow because we get tons of bunnies. All those beautiful orange blossoms and lemon blossoms fill the air. 
was such a fragrance you would not believe. Smells so sweet. Smells like honeysuckles. It's just, oh, beautiful, that fragrance. We do get coyotes back here. We get hummingbirds, all kinds of birds. Hummingbirds, we get honeybees. We have a quail, a family quails that come out here. Squirrels, owls. This right here is so beautiful. I took a picture of this because in the winter, in the fall when it rains, this fills up with water and it becomes like a river. And it is so beautiful. It's just a running river all the way around the orange orchards. That is so beautiful. When we have rain season, I will come back up here and show you how beautiful this looks with the rivers flowing through. All the way around. We are up very high. When it's in my back, we're standing in my backyard. I look up the hill and this is what I see is my orange orchards. And I do have the lemon trees in my backyard. But I have a scenery of the mountains. So gorgeous. We get hawks up here. We'll see in the sky flying. So beautiful. Absolutely love it here. And there's a hummingbird. I hope you enjoyed Rabbit's Hollow, the little sneak peek of my backyard. Thank you for watching. You all stay blessed. Be kind. Be kind to yourself and others. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Till next time, my lovelies. I'll see you in my next video.